coffee tastes better when it's free. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's free coffee Wednesday at Duncan, so I got some free coffee. Um, I feel like the last video I filmed was the same thing. Also, I have to be paying attention to the outside world because my children yeah. and also because um, we're waiting for a new microwave, so. There's that. Yeah. Also, Autumn is here again, like always. But today, I thought I would film something fun. I'm running out of ideas, but I got this idea and I thought I would go with it. So I've been watching a lot of like early 2000s TV. And I've researched a lot of early 2000s makeup. We're gonna do our makeup like a 2008 Victoria's Secret Angel. Fun fact, I used to want to be a Victoria's Secret Angel, but then um, I stopped growing, and at the age of 16, my agency dropped me. But I did walk the runway in New York City once. There's a DVD of it and photos, but it's neither here nor there. Anyway, I never got to be a Victoria's Secret model. Anywho, um, I've been watching a lot of that, and I read a lot of 2008 articles in the magazines, like Seventeen and all those fun things. I don't know, is that still a thing? Do girls still go to the store and get magazines? Who knows? I remember I used to. My favorite one was Seventeen or W or Nylon. Um, and I was gonna get into one of those magazines. Fan fact, did I tell you guys I went to a modeling school and then I got signed to an agency and then I went to New York? Anyway, that's a whole other story. That's a whole other situation. But today we're gonna be doing that. Um, I'm gonna be doing my makeup, my hair, and stuff. Cause the girl's looking crusty right now. I'm gonna take that out. I don't know why it's in my ear. This is a problem. Anyway, I've been researching a lot about makeup from that time period. And what I found was very smoky, very shimmery, and just all in all, kind of insane. It's very shimmery. There's a lot of shimmer. So. But there's still, like, a lot of black eyeliner. So, you know, like, I get the best of both worlds here. So, let's just go ahead and just get started. Right now, I'm going to moisturize my face. This is... A moisturizer that my grandma got me. She brought it for me when she came to visit the other day because she needed a haircut. So I gave her a haircut. But anyway, she always brings like random things. And for that, I am thankful because now I don't have to buy a moisturizer. And we all need a little moisturizer. So, like, foundation, as far as that goes, like, typically I would want to hide light and contour. Um, there was not so much, there wasn't a lot of like contouring back in 2008, the early 2000s. Um, we just kind of walked out of our house with our round faces, proudly. But, um, I might do a little like powder contouring, but the bronzer was where it was at, so we might just stick with that. Anyway, anyway I'm gonna take this are you gonna focus, 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 focus? I'm gonna take this Milani Conceal and Perfect, which I've already told you that I finally caved and got it. Um, thanks TikTok. And then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do a couple dots. It is full coverage. And if I remember correctly, we all used to be on this like Mac bandwagon back then. So I'm thinking that the more foundation, the better, right? Who knows? Also, I got a new sponge. Autumn hasn't gotten it to it yet, but yeah. Never say never. Um, but anyway, everybody was super tan. Um, I don't really tan, and I feel like in the 2000s, everybody tanned. We were all orange. Um, not like Cheeto orange, like some people, but we were a little orange. So I'm gonna make sure to bronze a lot, you know? Like, I feel like this is a very um, 
can you guys see that? It's a very like iconic photo of, is it Andrea, Adriana Lima? Or is it Alessandra? It's Adriana, um, but she's very tan and orange. And then there's me. So now that we got that on, I'm actually gonna go in with some concealer because like I said, I feel like it was back in those days we heavily, we wore a lot of foundation. As a 14 year old, or well, how old was I? I was 13, um, but I was in modeling and I was in pageants, so um, I did wear makeup quite often. Um, my mom used to buy me the knack, the knack, the MAC foundation. It looked good on stage and it just looked good. Um, and I think that if we were to conceal, we would just kind of put concealer on, like, not like to highlight, but just to conceal, you know? Like, that was the point of concealer back then. So I'm not gonna do what I usually do, which is just kind of apply some here, right in here, and then like lift my eyes and you know. We're just gonna put it on. Also, this concealer is very close to the color of like the rest of my foundation, so it's not highlighting. Because we don't wanna do that. We wanna look glittery, but we don't wanna highlight, if that makes sense. That's the look. Alright, so now that we're nice and cakey, um, just kidding, I'm kidding, we're not cakey. Let's see what we can do for eyebrows. So I'm just literally looking at pictures of the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show 2008 because even though I watched the video and I read a lot of articles, I just want to make sure that I'm kind of capturing the essence of the era. I feel like eyebrows back then weren't like super defined but they still had like a pretty good arch um at least like supermodel brows um you know they weren't like blocky like they are these days but they did have a good arch and they weren't like sperm brows like a lot of early 2000s brows were they were just brows um we we're kind of getting into what it is today dark, man. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go over this with my Lime Crime. Um, eyebrow gel. Because I don't want to make them look like defined like we discovered on Asavia Brow was. Because I feel like that was a little bit later down the road. Like, you know, I'm gonna do for brows. I might just fill in some of the bald spots using my Elf Instant Lip Brow Pencil. It's like two dollars at the Target and the Walmart at the Target. But like I have a little ball of these. Just like that. Let's, let's just take a look at some of these pictures. It's gonna show you guys like exactly how shimmery this era was but like see that also her eyebrows are a little bit thicker and filled in I don't know they all had different eyebrows I'm just gonna stick with my eyebrows though anyway um yeah there's a lot of shimmer going on here so I'm gonna take my elf HD powder I'm just gonna, you know, we weren't baking yet, but we were doing something. And that something was powdering our face a lot, if I remember clearly. A handy dandy bronzer. I'm gonna be using Forever Sun Kissed by Elf. And then I'm gonna take my lovely profusion brush. I'm just gonna, you know. We're gonna give ourselves a little helmet of bronzer so that we look tan. 
Also, I feel like we used to just put bronzer everywhere that we possibly could get away with. said I'm not gonna do my blush yet I'm gonna do my eyes and I think for this eye look I'm gonna keep it kind of natural but with like a 2008 twist which to me was uh, glittery inner corners like neutral colors and then just like a smoky eye because even here where they tried to make like the smoky eye not so smoky i feel like it's there and like the smudging is there and we all had the maybelline eye studio gel eyeliner like that's when gel eyeliner was thriving all right so if you couldn't tell by the zooming in of the face um it's time for eyes so i'm going to be using this lovely jaclyn hill volume 2 palette dip into the shade I feel like this would have some good ones and I think I'm going to start off with Rider Diamonds with this shader brush which is the Aveda number no. 2. And I'm going to try to get a good amount on the brush. Um, obviously if you want you can use setting spray or like you can wet the brush a tad. And I'm just going to put it literally all over my eyelid. I have a nose itch. Sorry, that was probably unattractive. I feel like this one, compared to the other shimmery nudes, is the least shimmery. But that's good because we can build up to what we actually would like. Then I think I'm gonna dip into Drama Clean, which is a little bit more like pinky nude esque. most of the shimmer. I'm actually going to go in with I'm In It, which is the shimmery iridescent white pinky shade. And I'm going to put it right here. And kind of even bring it up because that's what it looks like they've got going on. Like a really intense inner corner, which was pretty popular back in the day. That's that, and um, just to, just because I feel like I need to, I'm gonna dip into my bronzer shade, and I'm gonna kind of deepen my crease using that with a nice little blending brush, which is the Aveda number no. six. I feel like I need more shimmer. So I'm gonna go back in with one of my shimmery shades. I think I'm just gonna go back in with Drama Queen. Eyeliner look because 
that was all the rage back in 2008. And even though Victoria's Secret is known for like not smoky eye looks, I feel like even in 2008 they had a little bit of a kick to their looks. So I'm gonna go in to this with this tiny little Urban Decay brush. It doesn't have name or number. It just came in a palette once. And of course, I'm gonna take Temptress. Try to get a good amount on the brush and tap off the excess. And we're gonna kind of smoke out this situation. First, I'm just gonna go in and kind of apply it. No wing, no nothing, literally just a sponge to And then, we're gonna do that on the same, like the same thing on the waterline because 2008. Take this fluffier side of that same brush. And smoke it out. Alright. Okay, so now that we've finished the eye look and it's super shimmery and super smoky, I think I need just a tad more bronzer because I feel like everyone was just then and I'm not very tan. Alright, now that we got that kind of super tan sun-kissed kind of look. Um, we're gonna go ahead and dip into some blush. So, in all the things that I read and all the shows that I watched, you guys have like a really good blush going on. So I'm gonna take this Mellow Wine by Wet n Wild and I'm just gonna apply it. It's usually like very like prominently applied to the apples of the cheeks. Um, now we kind of apply our blush higher up, but back then it was just like... It's stuck in your face. I'll just put it there. Oh, I know I look insane right now, but just you wait. Hold on a minute. I'm gonna blend that in a little bit. Take a different brush. Looking at my picture, obviously we need some mascara or some false lashes, and I'm out of false lashes, so I'm gonna be taking this Wet n Wild Mega Length uh, mascara, and you know the drill. We got our eyelashes on, we got our blush, and um, I think I'm gonna move on to lips. So, lips were a big thing. Um, you would have bold eyes and bold lips in 2008, and then in Victoria's Secret, you could also just have like the super tan look with the super nude lip, but make it glossy. So, that hasn't changed too much. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this NYX Lip Matte Crayon in 
Sandstorm, which is just this like nice nude shade. And then I'm going to take over top of that just to um, fill in the lips. I'm going to go ahead and top it off with a Saft Matte Lip Cream in Abu Dhabi. So, we're going to do the thing. This was really before like lip fillers. grab some gloss because I don't have any gloss readily available so I'm just like give me two seconds. Alright, I'm back. Um, the closest thing that I could go to like a lip gloss is my Bite Gave Lip Mask in Champagne. Um, that does work as a gloss, you know. If I put enough on there, it can look a very So we have our lips. Now we need to look like we're glittery using our trusted palette here. I am gonna go ahead and take my brush. I'm gonna go ahead and take this brush and I think I'm gonna dip into um, Rider Diamonds because I feel like it has less pink detail. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that as like because I don't want to look too crazy, I'm just going to kind of apply it like I would any highlight. I'm going to go do my hair and then I will show you guys the finished product and we can have a nice little montage moment, right? Okay, I'm going to go do my hair now. And we're back. And this is our final form. Um, yeah. So back in the day, the curls weren't super like undone. They were still very left. Like we just got them out of the curly iron and stuff. But what I did see is that they weren't like ringlets. Obviously, they were just like, waves, but very intact waves. That makes sense. Also, I'm trying to hide my bangs. So this is the look, and I'm going to give you guys some close-ups. So right here, these are the eyes as you guys can see, um, very glittery, there's like no matte in there. If I hadn't had put like the bronzer in there, it would literally just be straight up glitter. I feel like this is a very like modern take on. 2008 makeup looks that I was seeing. Also, I like I feel like if I was a little bit more tan, um, this true contrast and like the true vibe would definitely come out. But I'm just I'm not. Um, so here's that. But not the hair. We got the makeup. Um, yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this. If you guys want to see any other like random years. Let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to try to do a makeup look for those years. Um, but this is the look and I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Um, hi, I'm Des if you're new here. If I forgot to say that, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!